In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 current trending technologies you should learn in 2022. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. If you've been thinking about making a career move in the information technology area but aren't sure which path to take, you've come to the perfect spot. Thank you for visiting Edureka's list of the top 10 trending technologies to master in 2022. During the last 60 years, technological advancement has made tremendous strides forward. In just a few decades, we've progressed from a one-ton system that could store 3.5 megabytes of data, the IBM 350, to an SD card that can hold 2 terabytes of data and weighs only 2 grams. One thing that has been consistent during this period is the fact that things change. Technologies evolve every two to three years, and it is critical for a professional working in the technology industry to stay up with the latest developments in order to progress quickly up the career ladder. Here are the top 10 current trending technologies you should learn in 2022. So let's start. Number 10. Hyper Automation. Would you trust me if I told you that artificial intelligence, AI, would be granted the same rights as humans in a few years? Have you heard anything about Sophia? It's already happening. She is a humanoid robot that is powered by artificial intelligence. She has her own thoughts and emotions, and she can see and speak like humans. In 2017, she was granted legal citizenship in Saudi Arabia, and she will be able to travel to other countries. To achieve hyper-automation, several technologies such as artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, and automation technologies such as robotic process automation (RPA) are used in conjunction with one another to automate the greatest number of business activities possible. 70% of RPA professionals believe their organization will hire additional developers in the coming year, according to BusinessWire. Over the previous four years, the use of artificial intelligence AI, in a wide range of industries has increased by 270%, according to Forbes. Number 9. Cybersecurity. Recently, cybercrimes have increased tremendously. In 2021, Twitter was hacked and was used to get bitcoins. Do you see anything wrong with this? This is the account of the US president on Twitter. It was hacked, and this message was posted from it. Cyber threats resulted in damages worth a whopping $6 trillion in 2021 alone, making it the single largest economic disaster in history. According to a report in the health sector alone, cybersecurity is expected to boom to $125 billion by 2025. Do you want to be a cybersecurity specialist in the next six months? Well, you should start preparing now. Number 8. Full Stack Development. Approximately 70% rise in internet usage has occurred in the last two years, according to Forbes. This obviously paves the way for an increase in internet business in the not-too-distant future. Even the United States government is recruiting for one, albeit in an unusual manner. If White House is not your dream firm, there are more than 28,000 full-stack development opportunities available on the employment marketplace Indeed.com. In India, the average income for a full-stack developer is 8 lakhs rupees per annum, while in the United States, the average salary is $110,000 per year. Number 7. Blockchain. Blockchain has been a popular topic of conversation for a number of years now. Generally speaking, people believe that blockchain's applications are restricted to the world of cryptocurrency only. Nonetheless, to compare cryptocurrencies to blockchain is equivalent to claiming that smartphones can only be used for making phone calls. Blockchain technology is now being used in a variety of areas, including healthcare, insurance, finance, and many more. In fact, popular games such as Axie Infinity, which are now utilizing blockchain technology, are now available. According to Deloitte's global survey, 45% of emerging disruptors have already implemented blockchain in their products or services. According to Gartner, the amount of corporate value provided by blockchain will increase significantly, reaching $176 billion by 2025 and $3.1 trillion by 2030, respectively. If you've been thinking about learning blockchain, the year 2022 would be the ideal time to do it. Number 6. 
Snowflake. Snowflake is a cloud data warehouse that pulls data from a wide range of software, services, and computing platforms. What makes Snowflake different is its ability to scale compute and storage independently. Snowflake has more than 4,900 customers, including 212 of the Fortune 500 with tons of jobs available on the job portals. The average salary for a Snowflake data warehouse engineer is 15 lakhs per annum in India, and in the US it's $125,000 per year. Number 5. Edge Computing Edge computing is the practice of capturing, storing, processing and analyzing data near the client, where the data is generated, instead of in a centralized data processing warehouse. IDC forecasts that the global edge computing market will reach $250 billion by 2024. The average salary of a cloud engineer ranges between $104,000 in the US to $147,000 annually. In India, it is 12 LPA and can go as high as 30 LPA. In the US, there are 130,000 jobs vacant for cloud engineers according to Indeed.com. In India, there are 30,000 plus jobs vacant for cloud engineers. Number 4. Internet of Behaviors Have you ever been in a situation where you are talking about a certain product with a friend, and you immediately get an advertisement regarding the same? If you have experienced that, you're not alone. This type of marketing aims at targeting the right person at the right time with the right product. Internet of Behavior, also known as IOB, refers to the behavioral data analysis gathered from IoT devices around us. Alexa, Google HomePod, and even your smartphones are examples of IoT devices. According to Gartner, about 40% of people will be tracked by IoT devices by 2023. According to Glassdoor the salary of an IoT engineer in India can range from 5 LPA to 16 LPA. In the US, the average annual salary is between $110,000 to $140,000. Number 3. Predictive Analytics Predictive analytics is a category of data analytics aimed at making predictions about future outcomes based on historical data and analytics techniques such as statistical modeling, machine learning and business intelligence. According to Forbes, the data science field will grow about 28% through 2026 year-on-year. Year. According to Gartner 70% organizations will make use of predictive analytics by the year 2025. The annual average salary for a data scientist in the US is $111,000, in India the average salary of a data scientist is 11 lakhs per annum. Number 2. AI as a Service Have you watched the movie Superman? It's a $300 million budget movie. It used expensive VFX to edit out the mustache of Henry Canville, because he had to keep it for his other movie projects according to an article from Verge. A college graduate was able to achieve the same effect using AI on a $500 PC. To simplify and make AI available to everyone, AI as a service was introduced. So now everyone can use AI without buying expensive hardware. According to Indeed.com, there are 50,000 plus jobs vacant in the United States. Similarly in India, there are 15,000 plus jobs. According to Glassdoor, the average salary of an AI engineer is $120,000 and in India it is 10 LPA. Number 1. DevOps. DevOps is a mindset of molding your IT process and organizational structures to promote business value, software quality, and continuous improvement. To implement DevOps, Netflix created a suite of programs called the Simeon Army. These programs created problems like shutting down servers randomly, deliberately causing latency problems between services etc. This helped their team to create fault-tolerant and scalable systems, ultimately helping them achieve the DevOps principles. Using the same principles in DevOps, the machine learning workflow and data engineering workflow can also be automated. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.